can have a diet that is working for us or against us, right? So if we think about lifestyle, the diet as a lifestyle, and this is the hardest part, is when we start converting people to eating in a different way, right? And, and the first thing they want to put on it is this is a diet, right? And this is going to have a negative connotation if it's an adult and they had a parent or um, some kind of person in their life that told them they had to eat a certain way in order to be accepted and we have to get past a lot of these barriers or we were rewarded with certain behaviors right we were re rewarded when we did really well we got a Snickers bar at the end of the day right and so we're working against some of these um, reward or, or, or acceptance models and so we really have to think about this as a lifestyle. We're really changing and thinking about this as something we do every day, not because it's a diet, but more that it's, it's a, a function of our health. So the average American consumes 57 pounds of sugar per year. That's a lot of sugar and the average child eats 49 pounds. So, I mean, you go to the grocery store and even if you get organic Horizon milk, it has sugar in it because that's the way they've learned that they need to sell products now. We need to add sugar. Regulating blood sugar is a huge part of all of our practices, right? Not everyone has um, the ability to eat that much sugar and be able to tolerate it and metabolically be able to manage that. We've found that lots of different psychological disorders can be really um, helped by changing both the microbiome and our nutrition, what we're feeding it, and anxiety symptoms can be allevi alleviated Probiotics are amazing and we can use those and get great results in some patients. Um, when we have certain strains of say lactobacillus, um, we actually create more of a histamine response and all of a sudden they re respond poorly to probiotics. And what I think is really great about this study is it showed that changing the diet was more effective than giving a probiotic at changing the microbiome. This is probably the most um, widely researched as well as um, highly supported diets that we have. What, what's good about it? It's high in really good protein, right? It's really high in fiber. It's going to balance blood sugar. It's going to really diversify your microbiome by all of these really um, amazing colorful vegetables that you're going to add, um, great oils. Um, it has you exercise. I mean, on some, um, some parts of this Mediterranean diet, they also say, you know, you're social, you're more social, you're, you're spending more time, you're exercising. An anti-inflammatory diet, though, we have lots of research basically saying it's fantastic for reducing inflammation and specifically, ultimately, neuroinflammation, which is what you guys are interested in.